Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to Norris Code. If you're new here, I am Yoshida. I am a self-employed hairstylist and I like to balance my budget, my finances. I love to plan my life minimally and functionally using a planner. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, hit that thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and leave me a message in the comment section letting me know that you are new here so that I can walk you to the code. Okay, everyone, but today we are going to be cash stuffing Y'all, I'm on a road. This is week three. So I switched up my kind of wallets this week. Let me tell you what I did. Um, kind of like spending, I kept in here. And then like at the end of the day, if I saw that, like if someone paid me cash, um, my whole objective was to get it in here. But if I had to pick up something like um, I had to get toilet paper, paper towels, I did that. I did eat out with a little bit of, you know, cash, but not much. Um, I would just switch anything else over to this envelope. And I do have change. <clears throat> Let me tell you, all, I did a lot of spending on products this week, which was not in my budget to do. Like, I didn't write down that I was going to spend as much as I did, but I need this stuff. So, also, I have receipts in here, so I'm going to kind of go through here and do some adding up. Here is my change jar. Now, let's get to what we are working with today. Let me get my calculator. And I don't think I'm going to use my cash drawer. I just don't think I need that. I don't really have any big bills. $146. I changed my mind. I'm going to whip out my cash drawer. I don't think, I think it needs to be Okay, so oh, also, let me get, I have a sneak peek of the budget box envelope breakdown this was really for me <laughs> because each week i was using scrap paper and i was getting on my own nerves with the scrap paper and i had made this exact same thing a couple of years ago when i was cash stuffing but it was in a different color so i just went in and changed the color and i decided to make it a notepad but i wanted to print it out because i needed it for this week so i just made it to fit my planner and then after i thought about it i might want to put it in planner sizes as well so but for right now it'll be in a notepad form coming in our february box and again i just did a little test page over here just to test it before i sent it away um how would it work if i liked it all that great thing before i sent it to the printers and i do so it's at the printers now being printed in notepad form it'll be here for again for our february budget box it is the envelope breakdown now also i have another paper that says envelope breakdown and so after i sent it to the printers i was like uh maybe i should have named the envelope breakdown <laughs> It's being printed now, but when I redo it, I'm gonna call it like cash breakdown, I guess. So, anyway, that is that. Let's move this stuff out the side. Let me, I'm trying to keep my, my setup a little pretty. Okay, so I have this over to the side, and I just threw a dashboard in from one of our boxes here just to kind of cover that up. Oh, y'all, we had. Uh, $3 and some change left. I'm going to be moving that $3 because I think I'm going to put that in a challenge. I want to do, I think I'm going to start the 100 challenge. I think I can afford that challenge. The 100 challenge or either the 52 week challenge. So we got some change left. I'll just move that to the side and I'll put it in my thing once I'm done. Okay, I feel like I'm being long-winded. Groceries this week get $60. So I just rolled that over to a challenge. So it's getting 320s. And I didn't fill out my deposit slip. I'll fill those out later. Next up, we're skipping eating out. 
Um, savings is getting $10. Oh, you know what? I did, yeah, well, that was fresh for groceries. So, savings now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, and 120. I explained in my accountability group on Instagram that someone was asking about cash envelopes. So, if you see me just doing kind of the same ones over or random, is because these are the things that are important to me at the time. Um, groceries, um, savings, you know, I can do the one in five challenge, all those things. So that's why my categories are what they are. I'm not breaking up into low, high, low priority, high priority right now. Um, I didn't want to make it overwhelming for myself. And I did that before. And when it's overwhelming, I don't know about anyone else, but it's hard to focus. It's hard to dedicate, but this works for me. Later on, I will break them up. But right now, I just want to kind of get in the hang of doing it and focusing and not make it too difficult, if that makes sense. So for one and fives, we're grabbing four. One, two, three, four. And for the time being, I'm just going to grab those three out of here and put that in my one and fives. And I'll worry about the challenge later because I created some challenges. I just never printed them out because I didn't know if I wanted to sell them. And so now that I'm interested in it, I will create them and all that great stuff. And so I'll just wait till I've actually physically created them to add it. If that makes sense. Debt. You don't have anything in debt. Oh my God. Debt. Y'all. I paid so many quad pays this week. I paid so many bills this week. My head is spinning. Like, and there's nothing left. But hopefully I'm caught up. <clears throat> okay. Next up is beauty. Beauty is getting a five. Yeah, it's a five. Oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be five ones. One, two, three, four, five for Beauty. So Beauty now has 10. Did I say how much? Oh yeah, we didn't do one of those. Okay, birthdays. Now, the reason birthdays is getting so much is because my coworkers' birthdays are coming up. Again, I've stated this before. They're going to brunch. I'm not participating because I'm going to save money. Um, and it's just not really in my budget, but we split it. So the way that works, the way we do it at work. So right now we have two birthdays that we're celebrating. And it's three of us whose birthday it isn't. So all three of us split those two's birthday if that makes sense. So they get their drink and everything, but where they're going, it's going to be roughly around $68 per person. So I'm trying to catch up. I don't think I'm going to, okay, birthdays get 20, but I'm rambling my mouth. Um, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to have quite enough, but I'm okay with that and I can put with it, but I have 20, 30, and 35. So between the three of us, I might, this might be enough. I'll just ask my coworker how much it's going to cost. And like I told her, just let me know how much it is. And then I'll just take what I have here. And then I'll add it from my bank account as well. Okay, next up is car. Car is getting two tens. So car now has... Car now has 20, 30, 40... 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. My cargo is almost reaching where I need it to be. I need to get my windshield fixed and my comprehension coverage is 100. So I think the last time it would have been like an extra $68. But if it gets to 100, I think that extra 68 is something that... Um, doesn't have to be on there so i need to get my windshield fixed so literally start that so that's car um pto pto gets two fives and pto now has should be 20. pto has 20 and i'm just breaking you know explanation with these but being that i'm self-employed i don't get pto so i'm paying for my own pto and I'm just slowly building it because we're in that season of it's snowing, people canceling, people not coming. And that's how I got back into my um, envelopes is because I had a week when everybody canceled. It snowed and I was left looking crazy. So I said, never again. 
that is my PTO set. And then Future. Future gets uh, two fives. And this is just anything in the future that I want to do. Twenty dollars, ten to ten, twenty. Um, I was explaining to my group that my future envelope is just a lot of things. It could be anything. Um, there are some things I have in mind, but just to keep it simple, is future. In case I ever have to make a move or I have to get something, it's almost like maybe an emergency fund, but it's not really an emergency fund if I can kind of just keep it that way. It's just anything. I'm a, anything futuristic in the future that may come up, and. And this is eventually, once I start getting more money into it, it's going to go into a high yield savings account. Okay, next up, my son Jaden, he's getting $2 because he's going off to college and I want to be able to contribute, but I got some months, so later on I'll start pouring more into this. Okay. And then next up is planning, and I'm giving planning five ones. And the reason I'm putting into the planning envelope is because I am a, hmm, I don't know what to call it, but I'm doing something with the DC Planner Con and I'm giving away five bundles. So if you're going, hopefully you'll be a lucky winner. And so I just kind of feel obligated to go now. It is normally my birthday weekend when it comes out. So that's why I never really, well, I didn't go last year. It was my birthday weekend. So I'm trying to save to be able to go, you know, buy my ticket. And then even like for me to send her the bundle. So it may cost me shipping or something like that. I can pull from here and then just start over. And that's that. That is all that we have today, you guys. Again, this will be in a notepad form coming in our February box. I'm so excited. Got some good goodies coming in our February box. But I'm excited to be using a notepad because that's what I was writing on. I was using a notepad to write down um, like what I was going to break my envelopes in. And I see, Yoshida, you have something for this. I just went in and changed the color to match you know, the aesthetic of what we're using now. And I'm super excited about it. So I definitely wanted to share that, but I definitely needed it today. So that's how we did that. That was our breakdown. Um, that is all for today. Oh, I just woke up from a nap. So I hope that I was clear on everything that I was saying. But again, if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.